Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. And today we're going to be building the Porsche Carrera GT. Um, in the last episode, uh, like mini series, we built this uh, Porsche 1993 911 Turbo S, I think it is. Hang on. Yeah, uh, Turbo S. 911 and we got 667 horsepower out of it now in this episode we're going to do the carrera gt um this car's actually pretty cool so let's take it apart the bodywork is in really bad condition in this car whoever owned it before should um shouldn't be allowed to own cars it is a crime to have your car in this state uh, rear window There's a lot of cooling in this car. Three radiator fans. Right, uh, we should be good to go there. Um, what we're going to do is take all the car apart, take the engine out, and then put some new stuff in. Uh, come on. So I think the gearbox will be in the rear, so that means we've got to take all the drive axles and that out. These are some fat tyres on the back. We're going to put even fatter tyres on. This is a weird looking gearbox. And a weird looking engine. Oh, what's this clutch? V10 clutch. That is weird. Alright. Um, let's drop this down. And take the engine out. No, we don't use that. We use this. What am I doing? Why do I not know how to fix cars in this game anymore? Uh, let's use that. Pull out the engine. Ah, there's a massive hole. There's nothing. Um, I gather this has ABS, yeah. Look, you can just see the floating dials over there. <laughs> They're just floating. Right, uh, let's lift this up. Now, will this say accessible from engine bay? Yes. No surprise there. We'll take them out later. Car's brakes are in really bad condition. I'm surprised actually how bad I managed to find this car. Like, this car looked worse than the Porsche 911 that we had earlier in the last video. Got the tie rods. Need to take them out. Uh, race tires. I think we might have to put slicks on again just so that um, the car actually has some form of grip. One thing, oh, one thing this game should have and needs to have is um 
drag tires. I'm throwing out all these ideas here. I should be a part of Playway. Playway, if you want to hire someone, I'm your man. <laughs> I mean, I've got all these ideas of different cars that we could have. I still... If I was to say, the biggest thing that I want is that Bugatti DLC that I've talked about in, like, every video. Because it is one... The W16 engine is, like, a one-of-a-kind engine, first of all. And second of all... It's just a selling point for Playway. Loads of people will buy that. And there's three different types of engines. Three different, like, completely different types. Not like the Porsche one where it's got, oh, it's just got a V10 and two boxer engines. It's like three completely different engines. And three completely different looking cars as well. Suspension arm, rear axle knuckle housing, we got a load of exhaust sections which means we could get loads of power out of um, the actual exhaust for the car, so hopefully we can get loads of horsepower out of it. Uh, wheel hub B comes out and then the knuckle housing and we have nothing left of the car except the cooling fans at the front uh, let's take those out now this Porsche is very nice though um, if you want to see how that was built go check that video out um, here we go Three radiator A's. That's going to be expensive. Right. Um, does the interior look good? Yes. It looks alright. Um, right. What engine are we using? Car status. V10 DOHC. 612 horsepower. No engine swap options, not surprised. There we go. V10 DOHC. Uh, games froze. There we go. That's not ideal. Uh, let's rotate that way. Yes. Okay, so we need uh, fuel filters. We also need uh, performance pistons. Uh, oh, no free space in inventory. Uh, all right, let's uh, quickly do this.
There we go. Um, right, let's go back into here. So we need engine block V10. Uh, actually, we need... Okay, that wasn't what I wanted. There we go, piston rings. No free space in inventory. Oh yeah, I didn't sell anything, did I? Uh, sell parts that condition is below or equal to 99%. Sell all of these bundle things as well. I've still got rims from the Hawaii video, which was like two months ago. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, okay. We also need uh, rod caps as well. Ten of them. And then we need V10 parts. Flip it round. So we need a V10 crankshaft. Um, I also need crankshaft caps. I think there's four of them. Here we go. Wait, I didn't buy the piston rings. only need seven. Crankshaft bearing cap. There we go. And the rod caps are in. Nice. There we go. And there we go. Uh, we need a V10 oil pan. And my battery is low. V10. There we go. Uh, let me just get this charger. Plug in. There we go. Controller won't die now. It's such a weird bottom for an engine. 
Uh, so we need Eiffel B power steering pump. That's weird. V10 water pump. Uh, a water pump pulley for the V10. Uh, so we need performance alternator and Eiffel B power steering. Uh, Eiffel B and alternator is at the top. There we go. Oh, that power steering pump looks cool. Uh, and then a V10 oil filter. There we go. Oil filter is in. Now we can flip the engine round and carry on with this part. Well, there's nothing that needs to go on here. So we need engine head B and engine head A. I'm hoping we have performance for that. A V10 and B V10. These performance parts all look amazing. Um, so do we need... Uh, we need 1, 2, 3, 4... 16 camshaft bearing caps. Sixteen of them. Uh, we need V10 camshaft. Four of them. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. I'm so... This is so annoying. Like... Screwing in all of these individually. But it is satisfying. It's so satisfying. Screwing them in. But it's also very annoying as well. Uh, fuel filter. Let's fit that in while we're at it. Um, does that say that we need the intake first? Hmm, that's weird. Uh, here we go. Right, um, oh, we need cam gear A first. Uh, let's go back here, cam gear A. I'm guessing that should be it. Ah, 
Uh, time and chain V10. Time and cover. Here we go. Uh, so we need cover B and cover A for the engine head. Right, next is the intake manifold. Uh, oh, we got exhaust manifolds, so that's good. Uh, I'm guessing we need fuel rails as well. Yes, fuel rails. Oh, it has two throttles. Well, that's good. That's a lot of extra horsepower. Spaghetti. Okay, uh... V8 crankshaft pulley. I think we might actually have enough idle rollers. Nope. For once we don't. Uh, V10. I think we'll also need all of the V10 belts as well. Should be good. Uh, right, air filter base. I think it needs two of them, and it also needs two air filters. And we're not done yet. I forgot about all of these spark plugs. Uh, ignition coils. Okay, so we need... Two of 
ten of these. There we go. There we go. Um, is there no nothing to connect it? No covers. Hmm, that's weird. Um, one thing I've noticed: this is a very tall engine. It's very tall. Um, V10 clutch, and then we also need our clutch cover as well. And there we go, that is the entire of the engine built. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on that join button. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Straight up